Hello everyone, I hope all is well. Shamil here. I am going to do a bus of Shabemu for you guys, right? Um, <laughs> I love cooking so much that today I'm actually celebrating my birthday and I decided to cover a few uh, things for you all. Bus up shop is one of them, right? Simple bus up shop. You all know I keep things simple for you guys for a reason and a purpose because I know a lot of you uh, trust me food wise, so to speak, and not follow my demos, right? So I'm going to make this bus up shop so it's so easy that you always simply ask yourself the question why this demo wasn't uploaded before or um, how come no one told you it's easy to make bus up shop, right? So for that you will need four cups of all purpose flour. Listen to the measurements good. It's for great reasons. Four cups of all purpose flour using your measuring set and four teaspoons, not tablespoons, four teaspoons of baking powder. A pinch of salt, that is optional because the key we are going to be using is something that is highly salted. If you might ask Shami on what is ghee, ghee is clarified buffer. That's what he is. You may not get this brand that I'm using here. This brand comes from New Zealand, right? But I'm sure in your part of the world, there is clarified butter selling. I'm sure about it. Some persons, from time to time, might use just plain cooking oil, right? But I can tell you, I made myself a couple of times, and I use oil, and I use ghee. And the ghee quality is far more superior than using the regular cooking oil, right? Now that I've covered that, I already have everything in my bowl here, right? You're gonna need water. I'm not gonna call the amount because you all know what I always say with water and liquids when we are cooking or baking. You add until you see you have your desired results. Right? You don't just throw in things and you know, because I might say some amount and you might say something else and just please watch what I'm doing and use the soup. Keep in mind, this one is room temperature water. We are not using yeast, so there is therefore no activation needed. You needed, sorry. You can't put like about a teaspoon of sugar, brand little sugar or white sugar if you have, right? That is also optional, right? So the pinch of salt is optional, the granulated sugar is optional, the white sugar. What is a must and necessary is your four cups of flour and your four teaspoons of level flour, four cups level flour, four, cup, four uh, level teaspoons of baking powder, right? And you mix that up and I'm going to show you guys, of course, all the steps. So because I already have everything set up, I am just going to, you all see me with this well thing all the time and that's what I'm going to do even now. Right? Then just keep watching. Remember everything is already in here for us, right? We are going to need a little bit more water. You all know if you have to double up, this is supposed to, this is supposed to give you four, uh, four bus up shot that shots that will feed uh, one bus up shot feed three persons right so this is going to give you four bus up shot depending on the size of your tower if your tower is somewhat smaller or larger it's, it might give you two or it might give you um like in with my tower this measurement of the four only gives me uh it gives me sorry eight and not four you understand that because my tower is somewhat small i own my tower like uh almost 17 years ago it's quite a costly local thing the tower but i'm gonna say that it is worth it is worth the investment the only thing about it is that when you purchase it it's silver and over time with the build up of grease it gets somewhat dark in color like my own is right but when it's new it needs quite a bit of breaking and when it's new the tower yeah because it don't give you as nice uh, quality roti and so forth once it's new right so you all saw when i added the water in bit some portions and now we are almost there now we are almost there i'm just gonna dust with a little more flour before i put it into the four bowls to rest so just keep watching to see what I am doing. 
just keep watching it's this simple i kid you all not you all know i don't come on here to kid you all i don't have that time simply i don't have that time right so the, imagine this is our starter correct and right starter for bus of shots right this uh, method that i'm using here can also be used i'm just coming away a bit from this demo for uh sada roti or sada bake it is not a demo about such i am just telling you all it is the same procedure or method to do sada understood so now you're gonna cut this in four uh equal parts right get it into a smooth ball cut it in four equal equal parts it's called lawyer right or lawyers right uh that's the proper name for it once you are making roti that's what they call it right you don't want to fuss about the flour too much or whatsoever right i'm going to just use my bench knife to give me my four equal parts you know a lot of you are familiar with the device that i call it that is called the bench knife not that i call the bench knife that's the correct name in the culinary world for it so you're going to roll it out like this and cut it in four but keep in mind i'm going to show you all if your tower is my size what it uh what will need to be done right if you are not from trinidad and tobago and you are viewing this and you, are, you live in the wider part this is a bench line you live in the wider part of the world a tower is really a stone a baking stone for like a, a flat thing somewhat like a griddle but it's shaped circular like a pizza pan and it's used for making a uh, roti and so forth here in trinidad some persons might even say it would be great to make uh homemade tortillas and, and things like that or tortilla, right so i'm just going to cut into it in four and then from that four cutting i'm going to put it into uh my bowl of course remember i gave you a correct name for it just now And then I'm going to when I after because I because of the size of my tower I will need eight to do it in eight so I'll show you guys everything because for the bus up shot you need your bus up shot to be paper tin literally you need it to be paper tin right so this is going to be too big for the tower I have to get the bus up shot results imagine this this ball is too big for my tower so this one to get proper bus up shot I am going to have to cut it in two. I already have a plate prepared here to hold my uh, my bowl and them to rest until I am ready. It, it doesn't rest for too much a long period of time. It doesn't uh, about 20 minutes and then it's ready to go onto the tower, right? So you just do this until all your balls or lawyer, uh, lawyers are used up, right? And then you proceed to get it onto your tower, right? Don't become alarmed because my tower is dark. Remember, I said I own my tower 17 years, right? And I cook. You all know I cook and I cook and I cook and I cook. You all know I cook for real, right? I cook a lot. It's one of my passions. So you could well, you can well imagine the discoloration that my tower have, right? But it's an investment worth making. It's quite a bit costly, like I said here in Trinidad, but it's worth it. And you know, when the holidays come up that we eat the rotis, you won't have to stand in long lines here locally to get some good roti skin. You'll be capable of making very impressive bus up shop on your own. Right? You want to cover this with a damp uh, cloth. You all know how I feel about germs in the kitchen and so forth. So what I'm going to do, for the sake of cutting on bacteria and everything and to play things safe, you all know safety is first and foremost with me and these demos, I'm going to use plain white quilted paper towel. So I'm just going to wet it. It's the first time it's going to be used and you should do the same to cut down on bacteria. I'm just going to wet them, give them a gentle squeeze and cover my lawyers or pass of shot wall to it until I reach the desired time for it. I want to tell you because we live in very hot climates, even though we have rain at times, 
to please just don't wet this and leave it because it may become somewhat hard. It could become dry all on its own if it's just there for too long a period of time. Right? You all saw what I did, right? So I, I, I'm covering it now to leave it to rest for that 20 minutes at max before it is ready to go onto the tower or the hot stove. Right? So that's that's part one of our thing. Not part one, but this is the first process, I should say, of making basasha. It is a process and we are almost there, believe it or not. We have like one more step before this, uh, this demo is totally completed. You are going to see how easy it is and you are going to tap before it, right? Just keep watching as I bring it together for you. So guys, our dough have be, has been or have been resting for quite some time. This is a very critical step what I'm going to do here. Just please watch. Don't skip this step whatsoever when you are doing roti of uh, when you are doing bus up shop right since it's bus up shot I'm familiar with I don't want to say roti of any kind right I don't want to say things that could be inaccurate right so don't skip this step whatsoever watch what I'm doing right watch good what I'm doing and don't skip it I can't stress that enough right so we are going to roll it out like this using your ghee or butter the choice is your own watch what i'm doing you're gonna do this i'm using a pastry brush by the way if you might be wondering what tool it is that i'm using i'm using a pastry brush right it makes life easier when doing look like these right so i'm just going to do this watch carefully don't skip this step eh? this is cryptic call cannot stress that or place emphasis on that enough right after you are finished doing that with your butter or ghee give a light sprinkling of flour very light then you're gonna cut it do not skip do not skip critical here be critical right now right gonna cut it like like that like that's what I did I'm using my uh, bench knife so it didn't give me the cut that I wanted right we are where I want it to be and we're gonna roll as tight as we can into a cone as tight as you can get it you roll into a cone right and you're gonna repeat until all your dough of course is used up you all see what I'm doing I know you all are seeing right it doesn't have to be perfect cone when you don't do that you just simply do this right you all saw that i know you all saw that and then i'm gonna just give this one a bit of time to rest i'm gonna roll a next one for demonstration purposes, purposes sorry to show you all don't skip watch carefully this is about the only part and i wouldn't even say this is hard this is about the only part that might you know bug some of you all out of it so to speak but it's worth it you cannot skip it you need to follow through if you already come this far it's very easy to put the dough together why skip this part there is no mixing and no set of work with this dough whatsoever so you need to follow through if you want good results right so i'm just going to show you guys uh quickly again this next one same thing remember i said we don't have to have a perfect uh cone right ghee or your buffer what is ghee remember what i said at the beginning ghee is clarified buffer it looks a lot like butter but when it uh if the place is really hot it will just uh start to resemble oil pretty much right cover it properly sprinkle with flour Cool. Sprinkle with flour. Not too much. Just a dust. Light, light sprinkle. Right? Cool. Watch carefully. Tight as you can. Let's go as tight as we can, right? And you just want to press the peak of the cone back into the dough itself. But it's finally finished rolling up, right? So you do that. 
you just gently do this right that's all now remember I said my tower isn't big so I am going to have to cut each of my four uh, ball into half so I'm going to show you all right we spoke about not with we don't need necessarily need it to be a perfect uh, circle right remember we spoke about that so I'm gonna demonstrate that for you all now to see what I was getting at this part don't worry about it because it doesn't stay whole in any event remember this is boss up shot that I am making right we will need some more flour on the mat this is just a pastry mat I'm working on if you might be wondering I have my own a couple of years now if you are interested comment and I will wherever this video might be and I will tell you all where you can get it but it's readily readily sorry available at any home store including online have them for sale right the goal with it is getting it paper thin the goal with it is getting it paper thin I don't want I don't want too much of flour on it okay paper tin paper tin that's just the goal right it's already doing a kind of two ply thing as i'm rolling it and that is what the step with the ghee and the cone is necessary for it's already doing a two ply thing from the time i'm rolling it i know what's happening because i'm familiar with making bus up shots so i know what's happening right it's doing that two ply thing remember we want to tell it can mash up without you even or pulse apart without you even having to do it right we need it to be thin right so about here you can't even see holes in it on the on the board that is quite okay about here is where we want it gently press the corners with your hand i'm going to glaze i'm going to work on my uh my tower this moment at this present moment remember i spoke about me having it 17 years so it's a scholar from a lot of work right so guys watch this is what the tower looks like they, they are just they come in different sizes of course but this is what the tower looks like in Trinidad right remember I explained what it is at the beginning of the demo I'm going to put down the bus up shot now onto the tower So you all see right you all see that you know i'm a real cook so i'm showing you all that it isn't perfect circle but i'm going to show you all what we will and can achieve even though it's not a perfect circle right just make sure your edges edges of it isn't too bulky or thick because sometimes that happens with bus up shot remember it's okay for it to get uh tears in it or holes even from on this stage here remember the reason i am dividing my own the piece smells just lovely in the kitchen here we have a distinct set. Remember, the, the goal is for it to be paper thin. And remember why I'm rolling out my own smaller is because my tower is smaller. That's just all, no other purpose, right? So now I'm going, I'm getting ready to put it onto my tower, right? You all have seen the holes in it already, right? That is quite okay. This is what we want, right? Don't have your stone too hot. I'm going to put butter on it. There is a bowl movement that they use over here to get it all to get it to, to put like how I'm using the pastry brush what I'm trying to say is some persons would just simply use a cup the bottom of a cup or a glass and put on this use this step they won't do this what I'm doing here you see the nice bubbles we have we're gonna zoom in for you to see what I have right we are going to zoom in just for you all to see right Make sure you put enough on it. Bus up shot is oil. Roti is oil. You can't be health conscious and want to take part in roti. And when you start making it for yourself, you're going to uh, eat less of it if you happen to love it. So I'm just going to flip it to show you guys, right? We use something called a dabbler here in Trinidad. I have one, but because my own is all so thin, I don't need my dabbler. Right? You all saw what, what just transpired there before your eyes. We have this perfect silky bus up shot you all saw it transpired right so i'm just going to put it onto my bowl i am going to use parchment paper just because it is an oily thing and even when we are getting it 
to buy over here the service on paper. So you just you all saw that. Wasn't that easy? Did I take the intimidation away from this bus? I've shopping for you all. It wasn't that easy. This is what the dabbler looks like. So when they are making the big ones, the huge, the huge ones, they just simply beat it a couple of times for it to come apart. They will even do a method like this. Right? You understand? I'm just giving you a rough example. You all know I just went through things quickly for you all. Right? You guys saw how easy it was. You guys saw what I did, right? So it's that easy. You put it on some kind of grease to pay for something, not on paper towel to take away all your moisture from it. And please, once it's finished cooking, get it off your towel. You don't want cripsy bus up shut up the colour. Some persons like it with the colour, some don't. So that's our first one. I'm going to do the second one quickly and wrap up this sub shot demo for you all. Remember, I have that half that remember I am cutting all in half, right? Watch closely, please. Please watch closely, right? Remember, I spoke about a critical step, which is the oil. Yeah, it pretty, it's pretty much a go like pastry, where the, as soon as you uh, do that uh, buttering of it and you uh, roll, and you are rolling it out, it starts to look like it's doing layers on you, which is what you want. From the moment you roll it out and you realize, you realize that it's too ply, you know, yes, I am having what I am looking for, which is some really good bus up shop. Remember how thin I said it must be, right? I spoke about all of that. Remember I said, don't mind, never mind it getting holes and so forth or tears in it on the surface remember i said that you all saw what happened on the tower just now so you all could rest easy and assured now that i'm not making some imperfect thing because you all saw what just transpired every time you are going to put it on do the same procedure with your tower and your ghee your clarified butter every time you are going to put it on do the same procedure put some ghee onto your tower right get your your dough it's okay for it to have tears. Rest your dough on. And start buttering the top. Adding your ghee to the top of it. Rapidly. Because it cooks. From the moment it hits that tower, it cooks. It's that shape. It's super thin. So it cooks immediately. Right? You see in the puffing we are having, I'm going to do a zoom in. A zoom in. And children that we say in here a lot. So I'm going to do a zoom in of it for you guys to see what's going on. I need you all to see the bubbling. And what will of course that bubbling is the, uh, the baking powder. You all remember baking powder was used, right? So this is what we have. It's already tearing, which is what we want. Which is what we want. At this stage, you can put just a little more on your side like this. Remember, I said but such shot isn't some healthy food. Or roti isn't some healthy food. It's extremely oily though. It's extremely, extremely oily though. And because my own is rolled out so thin, I have absolutely no need to tear it. You all saw that, right? So, what trucks were you And this is where it gets the name from. Look at what we have. Guys, the pleasure was my own. As always, you all know the business is all over social media. We are on Instagram, we are on Facebook, and of course, we have the YouTube channel, which is Food by Shamion. Right? All under the name Food by Shamion. There's an email address for the business, which is Food by Shamion at, at gmail. That, the email address is Food by Shamion at gmail.com. Guys, the pleasure was my own. I'm gonna zoom in for you all to see. Right, let's see how the bus up shot we have. Or have, I should say. Um, how simple it was to execute. Let me know once you try it. Let me know what's your result. Let me know what's your opinion, your honest opinion. And I will reply in a timely manner. You all know I do that. Right, guys? So until I meet you all, bye and thank you. Thank you all so much for your support and watching. Bye.